Part 1. There are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. For each question, choose the correct answer A, B, or C. 1. What did the man do at the sports centre yesterday? I went along to that new sports centre yesterday evening. Oh, yeah. Is it any good? Well, I haven't become a member yet, but they showed me around. It was pretty good. I was thinking of joining so that I could do diving lessons, but there's no pool, so I don't know. Oh, that's a shame. Did you try any of the facilities while you were there? I did a quick workout in the gym at the sports centre. The machines are great. You'd like it because they have a running track outside. Interesting. I'll go and take a look. Now listen again. I went along to that new sports centre yesterday evening. Oh, yeah. Is it any good? Well, I haven't become a member yet, but they showed me around. It was pretty good. I was thinking of joining so that I could do diving lessons, but there's no pool, so I don't know. Oh, that's a shame. Did you try any of the facilities while you were there? I did a quick workout in the gym at the sports centre. The machines are great. You'd like it because they have a running track outside. Interesting. I'll go and take a look. 2. Which sport does the woman compete in? Are you into sport, Julie? Yeah, I've loved it since I was little and I've competed in a few different things. Oh, really? Do you mean in team sports? Well, I play football, but only for fun with my friends. I preferred baseball when I was at school. I was quite good at it and I almost played in a national tournament once. But no, I'm actually hoping to go out to Spain to take part in the surfing championships next month. That sounds amazing. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Now listen again. Are you into sport, Julie? Yeah, I've loved it since I was little and I've competed in a few different things. Oh, really? Do you mean in team sports? Well, I play football, but only for fun with my friends. I preferred baseball when I was at school. I was quite good at it and I almost played in a national tournament once. But no, I'm actually hoping to go out to Spain to take part in the surfing championships next month. That sounds amazing. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. 3. Where will the friends go running this evening? I'm not as fit as I used to be. I need to start doing some training again. Well, why don't you come for a run with me this evening after college? I usually set off from home around six o'clock. We could go along a path through the woods near college, or we could go into the countryside, which is what I do. There's a path by the river. It's more peaceful than running through the streets, and there are some beautiful views. Well, okay then, why not? Now listen again. I'm not as fit as I used to be. I need to start doing some training again. Well, why don't you come for a run with me this evening after college? I usually set off from home around six o'clock. We could go along a path through the woods near college, or we could go into the countryside, which is what I do. There's a path by the river. It's more peaceful than running through the streets, and there are some beautiful views. Well, OK a y then, why not? 4. Which winter sport was Max good at when he was young? I'm going snowboarding next week. Have you ever tried it, Max? Not since I entered a competition when I was a teenager. It didn't end well. I came last and injured my ankle. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Well, no, it wasn't. I used to be one of the fastest skiers I knew when I was that age. My family lived in Switzerland for a few years, so I just expected to be good at other winter sports too, like snowboarding and ice hockey. But I failed to get into the school team for that. Really? Now listen again. I'm going snowboarding next week. Have you ever tried it, Max? Not since I entered a competition when I was a teenager. It didn't end well. I came last and injured my ankle. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Well, no, it wasn't. I used to be one of the fastest skiers I knew when I was that age. 
My family lived in Switzerland for a few years, so I just expected to be good at other winter sports too, like snowboarding and ice hockey. But I failed to get into the school team for that. Really? Five. What did the girl lose? Good morning, Highfield Sports Centre. Oh, hi. Um, my name's Charlotte. I was playing squash at the centre yesterday. I wonder if anyone's found one of my trainers. It's got Charlotte in it. I was on court three with my friend. I usually put everything in my backpack with my racket. I've got one, but the other isn't there. Fortunately, they aren't new, but if you could look for me, that would be great. OK, just let me check for you. Yes, it's here. Oh, fantastic. I'll come in later then. Now listen again. Good morning, Highfield Sports Centre. Oh, hi. Um, my name's Charlotte. I was playing squash at the centre yesterday. I wonder if anyone's found one of my trainers. It's got Charlotte in it. I was on court three with my friend. I usually put everything in my backpack with my racket. I've got one, but the other isn't there. Fortunately, they aren't new, but if you could look for me, that would be great. OK, just let me check for you. Yes, it's here. Oh, fantastic. I'll come in later then. 6. Which sports instructor is the man going to meet today? Oh, hi, it's David. You know we said we'd meet at the sailing club later this afternoon. Well, the thing is, I forgot that I've already got an appointment at the golf club. My son, Tom, is thinking about joining, so I wanted to show him around. We're also going to meet the coach. I want to ask a few questions. Tom plays a lot of football, and I'm not sure it will be easy for him to do both sports. Can we meet another day instead? Sorry about this. Now listen again. Oh, hi, it's David. You know we said we'd meet at the sailing club later this afternoon. Well, the thing is, I forgot that I've already got an appointment at the golf club. My son, Tom, is thinking about joining, so I wanted to show him around. We're also going to meet the coach. I want to ask a few questions. Tom plays a lot of football, and I'm not sure it will be easy for him to do both sports. Can we meet another day instead? Sorry about this. 7. What will open at the sports centre soon? Good afternoon, everybody. This is a club news announcement. I know some of you are already enjoying the brand new outdoor athletics area, but if you haven't been there yet, do try it. I'm sure you're also looking forward to the basketball competition in a few weeks as well. Don't forget to buy a ticket at reception if you'd like to watch. And if you want to be one of the first people to try out the climbing wall, come and book a session. You'll be able to do that from the 31st of this month. Now listen again. Good afternoon, everybody. This is a club news announcement. I know some of you are already enjoying the brand new outdoor athletics area, but if you haven't been there yet, do try it. I'm sure you're also looking forward to the basketball competition in a few weeks as well. Don't forget to buy a ticket at reception if you'd like to watch. And if you want to be one of the first people to try out the climbing wall, come and book a session. You'll be able to do that from the 31st of this month. Part 2 You will hear an interview with a TV actress called Brittany Briars. For each question, choose the correct answer. A, B or C. We've got TV actress Brittany Briars in the studio. Brittany, how did you discover your love of acting? Uh, when I was 12, mum sent me to drama classes. And I was always trying to be like TV characters at home, though I never thought that was acting. The others in the class were more experienced and that made me nervous, but 
I learned enough to act in a school play. Being on stage then was definitely what got me interested. What was your first professional theatre performance like? You'll probably expect me to say I felt calm because of my training. <laughs> the opposite was true. The person I played had an American accent. I kept thinking I'd go back to my own. I'm sure things like not remembering your lines are embarrassing when there's a huge audience. I made sure that didn't happen. Later, you went into TV acting. Why? It wasn't that I got bored of the theatre. I was seen on stage by a director who thought I was perfect for a TV series he was making. I thought, why not learn some fresh skills? The extra money was useful because I was saving for a house. I'd never take a job just for money, though. Is TV filming more difficult than stage acting? Uh, it's different. There's no audience, no clapping. That's strange at first, though the director will tell you when you've done well. Sometimes you film the same bit over and over. That's annoying, till you realise it's important to get it right. Then, in a theatre, you have to make sure people at the back can hear. On screen, that sounds like shouting. I have to be reminded about that lots. What do you love most about your job? When a new TV series comes out and my family get excited, I prefer not to watch myself on screen, and I've never been to any actors' events, though I wouldn't mind doing that one day. I get the real excitement from picking up the envelope containing my next role and I start reading the lines straight away. Is there anything you don't like about being an actor? Mm, some people find it hard to deal with being recognised in the street. That isn't my favourite part of the job, but I accept it. Most people are friendly. Getting up before it's light is something I've never got used to and I never will. But... Once the series is finished, you can take a long break if you need to. Now listen again. We've got TV actress Brittany Briers in the studio. Brittany, how did you discover your love of acting? Uh, when I was 12, mum sent me to drama classes. I was always trying to be like TV characters at home, though I never thought that was acting. The others in the class were more experienced and that made me nervous, but I learned enough to act in a school play. Being on stage then was definitely what got me interested. What was your first professional theatre performance like? You'll probably expect me to say I felt calm because of my training. <laughs> the opposite was true. The person I played had an American accent. I kept thinking I'd go back to my own. I'm sure things like not remembering your lines are embarrassing when there's a huge audience. I made sure that didn't happen. Later, you went into TV acting. Why? It wasn't that I got bored of the theatre. I was seen on stage by a director who thought I was perfect for a TV series he was making. I thought, why not learn some fresh skills? The extra money was useful because I was saving for a house. I'd never take a job just for money, though. Is TV filming more difficult than stage acting? Uh, it's different. There's no audience, no clapping. That's strange at first, though the director will tell you when you've done well. Sometimes you film the same bit over and over. That's annoying, till you realise it's important to get it right. Then, in a theatre, you have to make sure people at the back can hear. On screen, that sounds like shouting. I have to be reminded about that lots. What do you love most about your job? When a new TV series comes out and my family get excited, I prefer not to watch myself on screen, and I've never been to any actors' events, though I wouldn't mind doing that one day. I get the real excitement from picking up the envelope containing my next role and I start reading the lines straight away. Is there anything you don't like about being an actor? Mm, some people find it hard to deal with being recognised in the street. That isn't my favourite part of the job, but I accept it. Most people are friendly. 
getting up before it's light is something I've never got used to and I never will. But once the series is finished, you can take a long break if you need to. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear two local politicians, a man called Robin and a woman called Lisa, talking about recycling in their town. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. Right, we need to look at the facts and figures about our town's recycling efforts this year. I guess we've still got a long way to go before we reach our goal of 50% recycling of waste collected from people's homes. Actually, we aren't as far away from what we want to achieve as that. I believe we're already managing to recycle about 45%. That's better than I expected. So shall we start with metal? We're doing OK. A large number of cans are recycled each year, but we could encourage people to do more. They can be recycled quickly and they're ready to use again in six weeks. It's a pity the companies which recycle them can't do it in half the time. I know. How about progress on the recycling of glass? I think we could improve on that too. There aren't enough bins for people to take their empty bottles to. Well, it's all about money, isn't it? New bins aren't cheap. Moving on, let's look at the recycling of paper. The town's doing pretty well on that. The average person uses 38 kilos of newspaper every year, and we're recycling over half of it. Really? That's an improvement on last year. Now, plastic. That's a different story. People are throwing too much away. It isn't that there's no information about how dangerous plastic is to the environment. There's plenty. Maybe we should think about introducing fines for people who put it in ordinary bins instead of recycling ones. That's not a bad idea. Shall we finish with traffic? We've managed to cut air pollution by promoting the car share plan. More people are travelling together to work. That's good, but I thought we were trying to reduce fares. They're still too high, which is a shame. We need to encourage more people to use our new, cleaner buses. Now listen again. Right, we need to look at the facts and figures about our town's recycling efforts this year. I guess we've still got a long way to go before we reach our goal of 50% recycling of waste collected from people's homes. Actually, we aren't as far away from what we want to achieve as that. I believe we're already managing to recycle about 45%. That's better than I expected. So shall we start with metal? We're doing OK. A large number of cans are recycled each year, but we could encourage people to do more. They can be recycled quickly and they're ready to use again in six weeks. It's a pity the companies which recycle them can't do it in half the time. I know. How about progress on the recycling of glass? I think we could improve on that too. There aren't enough bins for people to take their empty bottles to. Well, it's all about money, isn't it? New bins aren't cheap. Moving on, let's look at the recycling of paper. The town's doing pretty well on that. The average person uses 38 kilos of newspaper every year, and we're recycling over half of it. Really? That's an improvement on last year. Now, plastic. That's a different story. People are throwing too much away. It isn't that there's no information about how dangerous plastic is to the environment. There's plenty. Maybe we should think about introducing fines for people who put it in ordinary bins instead of recycling ones. That's not a bad idea. Shall we finish with traffic? We've managed to cut air pollution by promoting the car share plan. More people are travelling together to work. That's good, but I thought we were trying to reduce fares. They're still too high, which is a shame. We need to encourage more people to use our new, cleaner buses.